All right, good afternoon and welcome to Monash. I hope you've had a wonderful day looking at various activities and had many of your questions answered. This afternoon, I'm going to be talking to you about data science. My name's David Albrecht. I'm the Deputy Dean of Education for the Faculty of IT, which means I oversee all the education programs for this faculty. So I'm going to tell you a bit about data science and how you can study data science in this faculty. But if you catch me later, I can talk about any of the various courses that we're offering. So data science is one of these fastest growing areas in IT. Let's try and get this working. And if we have a look at some of the major companies in the world today, we can see that a lot of them are involved with data science. These ones here in particular, that's their business model. They're looking at data science. They're using data science to make recommendations. They're built upon data science. But the others here are utilising data science to a huge extent. And to be honest, probably the other ones are also doing utilising data science as well. Data science is a way for businesses, for scientists, for medical practitioners to make sense of a huge amount of data that we're collecting these days. This big data how to analyse it, how to visualise it, how to find patterns in it. That's what data science is about. And if we ever look at the business model, and we have a look at how decisions were made in business in the past, you probably had a group of blokes, I'm sorry to say, generally they were blokes, making decisions in business, probably in suits rather than casual things, standing around, talking about what they're going to be doing next, and who would make the actual decision in the end? It would be the hippo, the highest paid person in the office. Okay, so that's how things used to work. These days, the idea is to use the data. In the same way, scientists use data to analyse their problems, their research problems, to visualise what's going on. Nowadays, this is more what people are doing. They're taking the data, they're analysing, they're building up models to understand it, to find the patterns in it. It won't look quite like this, but that's the sort of model in terms of Take every aspect of the data that you can and you think about the data that's being collected on you on a daily basis. When you go to the supermarket, the supermarkets are collecting information about what you've purchased. Why does that matter? Well, it depends on how they want to lay out the store. Do they put the items that you want together or do they put them in different parts of the store to make you walk past other items that you may want to buy? This whole analysis of how you lay out supermarkets is big business. But it's not only in supermarkets. You travel on roads. There's information being collected on the traffic, the congestions, how to improve the transport in and around the cities. We collect data on all of you. Most of you will collect, carry a phone. That's carrying a lot of data these days, a lot more data than we used to have. That data is sometimes being shared with lots of companies. And that companies make choices. And we've seen sometimes not very nice choices being made with some of those companies. It's also used in a number of other areas. Think about self-driving cars. 
To get those cars to self-drive, you need to actually train them. To train them, you need data. Again, we need this idea of using data, building up models to understand that data. We also have devices that we have in our homes that, again, are collecting data. We use them to get information, but they're also collecting data about us. Everything that you introduce into your life is also sometimes being used to collect data. So what is data science and how do you go about it? I'm going to give you a toy example about a very tragic event, the sinking of the Titanic. And for those of you who have not seen the movie, I'm sorry, there is going to be a bit of a spoiler. So what can we do to work out your survivability in the Titanic? We could collect some data about who survived. So we could look at the people on the Titanic. We can collect information about them. We can collect their information about their gender, whether they were first class or second class or third class citizens. We can collect information about their age. And a lot of that information is collected about you when you utilise a lot of facilities, especially on the internet. And that's how a lot of systems are making recommendations for you, by using the data that it collects about you. So how could it go about doing that? Well, if we collect up all the information, the first thing we could notice was 40% of the people survived. That's pretty. That's six out of ten people died. This is, you know, quite a tragedy. But that may not be enough. Let's try and get a bit more information out of the data. So we could look at gender. And if we split it up and we look at the number of females that survived, we see that 75% of the females survived, but only 20% of the males survived. Can we get more information out? Well, if we look at the females and we see that for first and second class females, you've got 95% survived. While if you were third class or crew, only 46% survival rate. What about the males? What can we see there? Well, we can see that 67% survived if they were children and 18% survived if they were adults. This is an example of the type of model that can be built up. Now, I've done it by hand, but we would write programs to actually do this. We collect the data and there's algorithms which are the ideas behind programs that enable us to build up these sorts of models, which then enable us to make predictions. What sort of predictions could we do? Well, we could take a couple of people and we could see what was their rate probability of survival. And if we looked at the female, we would see that, well, it's female, they were first and second class, so they had 90. 5% survival, while if they were an adult male, they only had 18% survival. So you probably could predict the end of the movie. <laughs> okay, and for those who haven't seen it, I've probably saved you about three hours of watching. <laughs> As I said before, this is enormous growth area. Have a look at the jobs. Not only do you have jobs in, with names like data science specialist and data science manager, but you've got other jobs there which you may not realise are closely connected to data science, such as machine learning engineer, machine learning researcher, machine learning specialist. These also involve data science. And you can see that these are growing at an enormous rate. And if we look at the number of roles, 650% between 2012 and 2017, that's a lot. Okay? This is a growing area. And when I talk about data science to industry, 
to people across this university, everyone is interested. Everyone knows that we need it. And it's not just science, not just technical, it's across law, it's across medicine, it's across engineering, it's across the humanities, everyone is needing data scientists. So we've been hiring some of the best people around the world, and this is some of our academics in data science and AI. You can see that we've got a huge number. And these are the people that will be teaching the units and have been developing the units that you'll be studying if you come to Monash. Okay? And these are top international people. But they are not just doing research in this area, they're actually applying it to a number of platforms. So one of the platforms that they were involved in developing is called Big ML. And you could go online and you can actually log in yourself into this platform and play around with some of the machine learning tools that are available. You could also go to their site, Fromly. And this site is all about rec making recommendations. So if you're running a business and you want to make recommendations, this is one of the sites. And we've got academics that have been working with the people developing this particular site. Credit scoring, a very important area. And again, using machine learning and the data science that we've been developing in this faculty. So how could you go about studying data science at Monash? Well, there's a number of possibilities. The first one I want to tell you about is the Bachelor of Computer Science. So that's one of our undergraduate degrees. It's a three-year degree, and it's got three components. The first component is core computer science. The second component is the data science specialisation. There is another specialisation you can do with it, but let's concentrate on the data science specialisation. And the third component is elective, where you can pick up units from other faculties in the university. So that's one way. So if you're interested in computer science and you want to gain that knowledge about data science, this is one way of doing it. Another way is to do the Bachelor of Applied Data Science. This is a new degree that's been co-developed by the Faculty of IT and the Faculty of Science. It's got four main components. The first component is the data challenges. So every semester you will do a unit where you'll get practical experience of working on data problems. Second component is mathematics. Every semester you'll be having a unit where you do more mathematics. Because underpinning all this data science is mathematics. And so if you want to come up with a new way of analysing data or a new algorithm, you need to have strong mathematics to develop that. The third component is the IT. That data specialisation that you do, can do in computer science, you can also do in the Bachelor of Applied Data Science. And the fourth component is what we call domain specialisation, where we've got a number of what we call minors. These are groups of four units that you can work together in different areas, and we've got them across the university. Now, if you want to go on, we have got other options. So, after undergraduate, we've got a graduate diploma of data science. This is our online degree. So you can do it fully online, don't need to come onto campus. We've also got one of our fastest growing master's degree, Master of Data Science. And for the last few years, we've been running a number of intensive co uh, courses for managers, our data science managers executive course. So there's lots of options out there. There's lots of potential for jobs out there. It is a growing area. I hope you embrace it. I hope you enjoy today. All the best. Thank you. <laughs>